Alright, what's going on YouTube? Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I take my notes. I'm very sorry to inform to you this video is not one take. I ran into a bug uh, while, while, editing this vid while, while recording this video. But anyways, enough of all my embarrassment. Here is how I take my notes. I will have, tip this is a typical, very typical setup. You will have one you have one side of the screen having my lecture, mater my lecture material, um, the resources I'm, I'm taking notes from. It can either be video, um, lecture, lecture slides, or just the prof talking. And in the middle, you have my Neovin, my editor, which, my editor of choice. And on the right side, you have Obsidian. And now Obsidian is sort of the backbone that's powering this whole note-taking system. It's kind of like the back end of the whole thing. And the reason why I enjoy it is several reasons. The first reason is it's using Markdown. Now I tried taking I tried taking notes with LaTeX before. It was just too much of a hassle. It's 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 not fast enough. In Markdown, you literally open the file and you can just start talk, typing right away. And in LaTeX, there's a bit more fit, a bit more stuff that you need to do. And overall, in a terminal, it just it just it just doesn't look that nice when compared to Markdown. Like when you look at Markdown, and you look at, and you look at Obsidian, you can sort of you know make out what is actually happening in the terminal, um, while it's having a very nice and you know compiled view of Markdown in Obsidian. And second reason is it has very very nice linking features, and that's why you don't get at least. I didn't figure out a way to get working in LaTeX because in LaTeX you basically just have a PDF and I don't know how you would link stuff like that and then in Obsidian but in Obsidian everything is text based so when you when Obsidian sort of compiles the markdown file it has all the nice linking features and with those nice nice linking features you get something called a graph view which I think I, I used to underrate this, but I, now I think it's very, very useful. Because now you see, you get, this, you get this very nice overview of all of your notes and how they're interconnected. And why is this good? Because you will see what kind of topic is sort of very important. Because if you have an important topic, you have very, very, you have a lot of surrounding knowledges or concepts around that one topic. For example, HTTP, arguably one of the very, very important topics in the course I'm taking right now, and you do get this sort of mm, center of gravity thing, like this, this stuff here is very, very dense, and it should make sense, because yes, it's a very, it's a covered, it's a heavily covered topic in the course. And it's, it, I, I, think, I think it's also sort of nice to, have the notes be organized this way. You have little chunks here and there. And now that's the reason why I use Obsidian. And there's there's probably a lot more, but I just don't wanna I wanna keep this brief. Maybe I can make a further video about this. Uh, uh, and the reason why I use NeoVim is because first of all I love NeoVim. Come on, every GigaChad programmer has to use NeoVim. And I use Neovim because of several reasons. First of all, it's a very good editor and it's a personalized, it's a personalized development environment. So meaning that I'm very, very used to it. Everything sort of just fits what I need. And the key writing and everything just makes sense in a way. Now, let me show you what I mean. So let's say I'm writing, writing, writing and I want to grab something from another note, say HTTP, right? I can type it up really, really fast. I type HTTP, it shows me, fuzzy finds the, and it puts me here. And with a little command, Obsidian opens the note on this side, and I can quickly go over it. Um, yeah, and then I can, like, Ian, new is very, very fast. Once I got what I need, I can control all, go back. I'm right, right where I was, back in here in this, in this note. And another thing is auto-completion. Um, I'm not sure if, ne if Obsidian gets this, but it's sort of a, just a good add-on um, when you use Neovim as like an external editor. 
you get good completions. Like for example, if I type, type, type in two square brackets and I want to link the HTTP file that I was just at before, I type HT and it shows me all the references that I have by guessing by the by like by guessing uh, by the word HT, right? So you got several notes here: how to study CS, HTTP, and whatever, whatever, whatever. And it just shows you this very, very nice format. So and say I want to like use this, boom, right here, and I'm sitting right here, and it will just show you that it will take you straight to that header, um, and that file right there. Uh, you can press GF, go to file, and then it'll it'll put you there, and it'll be you'll be here. And again, the control O, you'll go back. Oops, sorry. Go, you'll go back right here. Um, yeah, that's sort of the one of the reasons why I use NeoBim. Now, there's a lot of more reasons I just use NeoBim to code as well, so it just sort of makes sense. Also, I love NeoBim. Who doesn't like NeoBim? Most love editor, according to the Stack Overflow survey. Um, yeah, and I just run through the lecture slides and then I just sort of copy down what I think is very, very important. And yeah, that's how I take my notes. Oh, also, also, I also use Git. I Git everything, almost every single thing that I'm, I do, I use Git. There's two reasons to this. First of all, um, it keeps your data nice and safe and allows you to up upload it to GitHub and you can see I have these little cool messages that's like, you know, kind of sort of lock my process. I usually have another, I have a sheet where it tells me which topic I haven't done that in which chapter. And having this like log will just sort of make sure that, oh yeah, I did 7.2 three days ago when whatever, or how many days ago. And it's just cool. It's good to refer back and have version control on this. Maybe it's a bit overkill, but you know, I just got used to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, another benefit of working in the terminal is that you get these very nice, you know, terminal features. You get Tmux. You get, um, you get like, yeah, you get fuzzy finding over your projects. You, you, you move very fast. That's a very, very important thing. You're very, very efficient. Um, and then you get snippets in NeoVim as well. You just get all kinds of good things when you when it comes to editing text with NeoVim that I um, still I am yet to figure out. For, like for example, for example, right in snippets, there's this thing I write out write out a lot called callouts. So there there are these things that you know you write this and that, and then you can type in information about them. Like this is something that I do repeatedly, and I don't want to be typing this. Um, what you call it? Greater than greater sign every single time. Imagine if I can have a snippet say like tip, and I can completion, and then it will complete this sort of section for me, and I just have to fill out the actual information. You can see why that will be very, 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 very useful. And I have yet to implement this. I should implement this. Um, yeah. So that is some of the, some of the reasons why I use NeoVim and Obsidian to do my notes. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this brings you value in how you should take your own notes or maybe inspire you to take Neo to learn Neobin, which um one of the best decisions in my life ever as a as a student developer. Yeah, thanks for watching YouTube. Peace!